Alright guys, how's it going? So today, I thought I would take a look at Blender's view layers. I also thought we would take a look at collections, and just as an added bonus, we'll actually render out these layers as individual images. So essentially what I've done here is, I've created a text object, and I've separated each letter into its own separate object. Now one of the first things I'm going to do here is, I'm going to enable the filters and I'm actually going to take away lights and camera and that'll just hide the light and camera and it gives me a cleaner workspace. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to view layer and I'm actually going to call this all layers. And that means it's all layers. So I'm actually going to take an extra step here. And some of you guys might think, why are you doing this? This is just extra work. But towards the end, it actually kind of makes sense. I'm actually going to add in a new collection for each object and I'll drag the B into B. Now there's actually a quicker method here. So if I select the L, right click, move to collection, new collection, I'll call this L, I'll hit OK and you can see that it's moved the letter into its own collection. And I'll pretty much repeat this for all the letters. Now with the magic of video editing, I'll quickly jump to the end. Ta-da! So you can see here, I've now assigned a collection to each and every single letter. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the layer system. So I'm going to add in a new layer and I'm going to call this B. And what I'll do here is, I'll quickly hide all my objects. I'll select everything I don't want to be shown in the scene. I'll right click, view layer and I'll disable from view layer. And that means when I go to the B layer, it's only the B. And again, I'll pretty much repeat this for every single letter. I'll fast forward for you guys. So if you have ever used Photoshop layers, you'll have a good idea how this exactly works. Each letter has its own layer. And this is great if you're maybe doing something like a really complex scene and you want to hide things that might be bogging down the scene. Now, I went an extra step here and added it to collections and also took an extra step by changing the visibility. And the reason for this is, or one of the reasons is, if I jump into the composite and tab, enable use nodes, you can see here in the bottom left, all layers, and I can actually individually render out the layer. Now what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to add in a file output node, and I'm going to change this to B. I'm then going to take the image, and I'm going to put that into the image. I'll select the file output node, I'll go to item, drop down to properties, and I'll add in a new input, and I'll call this L. I'll rename the top one to B, and you guess what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to create an image for each and every letter. So if we take a look, you can now see I have a temporary path, and then I have an image for each and every single letter here. I'm then going to copy the render layers, and I'm going to paste this. Now there is other methods to do this, probably quicker methods if I'm honest, but doing it manually, it kind of gets you into practice for rendering out layers. So I'm pretty much going to copy, copy and paste and change the layer every single time. So I've basically copied a node, assigned the layer here and then attached it to the file output. And up the top here I have all layers and that goes to my final composite image. And it's going to the temporary directory, when I hit F12 it'll render out all the layers and you'll actually see it going through the stages. I'll jump into my temporary directory and we now have an image for each layer. And this is great for doing things like compositing, adding in layers, maybe you want to hide the layer. Now I know it's a little few extra steps, some of this can be automated, there is different workflows, but I thought it'd be best starting at the beginning. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got a few mates now, you know what to do, peace.